What's up YouTube? Amanda here. So over the holidays I decided it was finally time to get myself a second 3D printer. I've been printing on this FlashForge clone for about three years now and it prints perfectly. However, as you can tell, it's got a very small build plate. I have some ideas coming up that require a much larger build plate. So I went with a Creality CR10S4. So today I wanted to show you guys some of the upgrades I made on my new CR10S4. Let's head on to the shop. Well, now wait a second. There is a disclaimer here. You should make sure that your printer is running with all the stock parts before you start making unnecessary upgrades. Kind of an obvious, now that we got that taken care of, let's head down. Okay, so for upgrade number one, go ahead and take the PTFE tubing that your printer comes with and toss it and get yourself some Capricorn Bowden tubing. Capricorn Bowden tubing has less friction. Also, the diameter of the hole that the filament feeds through is smaller, so it's able to find that nozzle a little easier. Also, don't forget to print out a few clips that will hold the Bowden tubing in place. Upgrade number two. Unfortunately, when I got this printer, I was having some under extrusion issues, so I figured out that it was the extruder. I don't think the spring was creating enough pressure for the gear to actually grab the filament. So I went ahead and bought an all metal extruder kit, and after I did this, this thing was extruding perfectly. Upgrade number three. I printed this filament holder bracket. Originally, the filament holder was on top of the control box. I personally just didn't like that. I prefer to have it on top of my printer. Upgrade number four. So your printer comes with a glass bed, which is fine when you're starting out. However, you want to go ahead and swap that out for a mirror. So this right here is a 16 by 16 mirror. I got Lowe's to cut it. They had some spare, so they gave me the thing for five bucks. The great thing about mirrors is that they're normally flat, unlike the glass bed that your printer comes with. And for bed adhesion, Aquanet. This stuff is awesome. Use it. Another great option is to get this Easy Map by TH3D Studio. I actually have not had a chance to print on it yet. However, I've heard really great things and I cannot wait to try it. Upgrade number five. So this is one of the easiest upgrades you can do to your printer. I installed this little utility light I got at the hardware store just using a couple of tie wraps to hold it in place. Turns on just like that. No need to waste filament printing something that will hold this in place when two tie wraps will do the trick. Upgrade number six. So I printed these little bed leveling knobs that make it a lot easier to level your bed or tram the bed. Uh, the ones that the printer comes with are super small and very difficult to turn. These just go right over that knob and it makes it a lot easier to level your bed. Upgrade number seven. So for my final upgrade, I printed these little squash ball feet holder things. For those who don't know what a squash ball is, it's pretty much a racquetball the size of a golf ball. So the squash balls go into the little holders and essentially what they do is it just absorbs any sound or vibrations that the printer may experience while printing. I think they look great and they also serve a great purpose, so thumbs up for the squash balls. All right, so that's it for my upgrades on my CR10S4. Let me know in the comments below whatever upgrades you guys do to your printer. And stay tuned for my next video when we put these upgrades to the test by printing out those FAB365 robots. I also have a quick channel update, so if you wanna watch that, stay tuned. It's coming up right after this. So if you stuck around for this part of the video, you are awesome. I just wanted to give a quick update about my channel. As you can see, I changed my name from Real Gal Amanda to Amanda's Prop Shop. I think it just fits the channel a lot better. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, which is crazy to think about. But my goal for 2019 is to put out as much content as I possibly can. And for you crazy horror fans out there, I've got some really cool horror projects coming up. So stay tuned for those. So if you love all things horror or Halloween or just scary stuff in general, like me, you've come to the right place. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you get an alert every time I make a video. That's it for this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.